You ever get over top of the golf ball and you just feel completely uncomfortable? You scoot back a little bit and it feels like your arms are really stretched out and locked and you can't get comfortable over it. You scoot forward and now you feel like you're jammed up and your arms are too tight. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about how far should I stand from the golf ball and what are the pros and the cons of being a little too close or a little too far away. Let's go and get started. All right, so let's go through a step-by-step -step system here to get the proper spacing from the golf ball. And, and I'll talk about the main points at the end of this, the highlights, but let's just go through this and we can all feel how far away we should be. So as we're starting out, get your feet about shoulder width apart if you're gonna be using an iron. Now from here, I'm gonna drop my hips back until my upper body tilts forward and I'll be looking down at the golf ball now. So if I don't tilt forward enough, I'm gonna have to round my shoulders. I don't wanna go for my shoulders. I want my hips to come back until my upper body tilts forward and I can now easily see this golf ball. From there, get a little bit of knee flex so you feel athletic. Almost like a short stop, not quite as much knee bend as a short stop, but you're gonna have a little bit of knee flex that way you feel like you can move. So I've hinged forward, I've got a little bit of knee flex, and the last thing here, I'm gonna get a little tilt away from the target. That way I feel like I'm behind this golf ball, I can come from the inside, and I can really release that golf club out in front. Once I'm in this great position, all I'm gonna do from here with irons is let my arms hang down. So if you're looking from this down the line view, you'll see how my arm is pretty much hanging right underneath my shoulders, and I'm in a great position there. You'll notice how the back of my hand is probably about a hand width, or maybe just slightly more than that, away from my thighs. And now I'm in a great position here to set up to this golf club or this golf ball. So if I get in that same posture with an iron, I'm gonna feel exactly like this. That's a great posture there. Again, about a hand width away, I've tilted forward with my body and let my arms hang straight down. Now, what happens if I do this incorrectly? Let's say I'm a little too close to the golf ball. Sorry there, once I get in that good posture, I'm gonna move to wherever I need to get to that golf ball. So what I'm doing is there is I'm telling you how to feel to be in the good posture and then I'm gonna feel that same way as I address this golf ball. Now my arms are hanging correctly. What I don't wanna do is set up to the golf ball. If I'm feeling weird, I don't wanna set up to the golf ball. Maybe my feet are too close or my feet are too far away. Then try to match my posture to wherever I set my feet. I wanna feel what's good and then move my body to wherever I need to be to match the golf ball from there. What happens if I get a little bit too close? Let's imagine that my arms are hanging too close to my legs now all of a sudden, let's imagine I've kind of rounded my shoulders, my hands are low, and my, my legs are in the way of my, my hands now. If I swing back, I'm gonna hit my legs here. What naturally will happen is, your legs will move out of the way in the backswing, but in the downswing, to create more room, I'll end up standing up. And what happens is I, I, my hips move toward the ball, I lose my posture, and I'm gonna end up using all hands and arms. If my body's in the way, I can't move it. I'm gonna use all hands and arms to hit this shot. So that's definitely not what we wanna do. We don't wanna be all hands and arms, we can be inconsistent. What happens if we're too far away from it now? Let's say my feet are very far away and my arms are really outstretched to meet this golf ball. Now my hands and arms are locked. My elbows are locked, my wrist is locked, and I'm gonna use mostly body, and I'm not gonna have the speed that I can get from my hands and arms if I'm too far away. So typically when you're farther away, you're gonna use more bigger pieces of your body, your bigger muscles. You're gonna lose a little bit of speed because you're not using the, the whip and the speed that you'll see with the lag and release like the pros are having. If you're too close, you're not gonna use the big muscles, you're gonna use a little bit too much hands and arms, and we're gonna get wristy and flippy. So it's nice to have somewhere in the middle there. If you wanna be a little farther away, that's completely fine. You can play some good golf. There's been great golfers that are a little farther away from the golf ball. I'm not saying that you can't play good golf. I'm just saying there is a little bit of a downside if we're too far away. If I'm too close, it's gonna be pretty tough because now my body's in the way. I'm gonna have to do something to get my body out of the way, and most likely that's gonna be to stand up so probably not your best scenario to get too close to the ball. What about with a driver now? So the same kind of thing with a driver, the only difference here is when I tilt forward, so if I'm setting up with a driver, as I tilt forward to look at the golf ball, I don't have to tilt as far. Instead of my body being more down, it's a little bit farther out. So when I'm down here with an iron, I'm gonna be a little bit more up, and my arms naturally are gonna be a little bit more out when that happens. So since I'm not as far forward with my upper body, I'm gonna be a little bit more out. My hands are naturally gonna raise up as I'm a little bit more out. So the same thing with the driver. I'm gonna get a tilt until I can see the golf ball, a little bit of knee flex, slight tilt away from the ball. So now I'm in a position to really hit this ball nice and solid. And then I'm gonna let my arms kinda of hang out from there. And they're gonna be slightly more out from my body as this is happening. That's because this, this driver plane is a little flatter and I have to stand a little farther away. So follow those key steps. You're gonna get the perfect feeling distance from the golf ball, you're gonna have a great blend of your body and your hands and arms to create good club head speed and distance.